This Anking video is one you've all been waiting for, the text-to-speech, how to do Anki hands-free. Now this is going to require Anki 2.1.20 or above in order to have the built-in functions. Uh, if you're using closed cards, I would recommend being on 0.29 or above because they added in a couple features that are much better. Now here's a couple tips so that you can refer back to this as you're trying it. Uh, if you have the field front, you're going to change it like this, TTS, and then the, you're going to put the language and then the field front with a little colon in between it. Now, if, uh, that's a Windows or a Mac or iOS, but Linux is, you're going to need this Google TTS add-on. I'll, I'll drop the link in the description of this video, and you would need to add this little uh, Google TTS thing here. Um, as your voice is just as an FYI. Uh, now there's also an awesome TTS add-on. I'm not going to be talking about that in this video, but I will link it in the description. All right, another tip here. This is the code that you would put in if you want to see what voices they are. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then here's how you would format that. And you can see if, if it lists the Apple Atoya one here, and if that voice was not installed on your computer, then it would default to the next one on the list, the Microsoft Heruka. And if that wasn't installed, then you just wouldn't hear any voices. So if you're not hearing anything, that maybe that you're using the wrong voice. Lastly, you can also control the speed here. Let's see this uh, the speed if you want to speed things up or slow it down. All right, this is super cool. I've got a basic and a closed note type here, and I'm going to show you how to add the text to speech. So we're going to go into this basic card here. And I'm just going to hit E for edit, bring up the edit screen, and I'm going to go to cards. This is where the card style is. We have a whole video on formatting cards if you want to watch that. Um, but this is the front, the back, and the styling templates. I'm on 2.1.32 here as I'm making this video. Um, but So here's the front template. So let's say that we want uh, it to read this to us. We're going to do T-T-S-E-N-U-S for uh, English, U.S. speaking. Now you can see that it adds this button here check this out and it's reading that to me but you can see we lost the uh, front <laughs> text so you can actually add that back in if you want um, so now this is the front audio and this is the front text and you can format it however you want i can put this down underneath if you wanted to uh, like i said watch our video if you want to learn more formatting things i can add a line break here and add it underneath whatever you want but that's basically how you would add that in um, and and then you could do it on the back template as well. Likely you're just going to want to read it here. So we'll add that in. US back. And add back. Just like that. So now what we can do is we'll go back to the card. So you can Check see how this is. Out. So it reads the front to us. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Now we're going to go to the close card type here. I've already typed in a bunch and we're going to test out some of the other cool features. Now so it will only read B. And I'm going to hit edit. E for edit will bring up the edit screen. I'll hit cards. Now it will only read B. See, it reads that there. We go to the back template and it's going to read the close. Now, this is a thing that was introduced in 2.1.29. That's why I recommend that if you're on the close because, for example, if I delete this dash only here, because it was previously just close text, just like that. Then it now it will only read the close. It reads the entire thing, and so the reason why that's no fun is if we go back now here. Now it will only read B. Now it will only read the close. You get the entire card read to you twice. Now so it will only read B. Sorry, I keep having lots of sounds. Now it will only read the close. All right, so we add that in there, and it will make it so that it only reads the close. Now you can see, I already typed this in, the voices here, and you can see that it puts all of these voices in the template. So that's just so that you can see things. For example, here's the English and the US ones. Those are the ones that are going to be installed on my computer. It may be different for yours. But you can see that there are multiple voices here. And you can see that I chose to have Apple Victoria. I did try a couple of the other ones and found that uh, not all of them were by default installed on my computer. So some of them didn't work. I found that Victoria does work and I put the speed at one and I didn't choose a voice for the front template. So I'm gonna set this speed to three just so that you can get a feel for it. Uh, and then notice this one is the Apple Victoria and the front template is just the basic. So listen to the difference between those two. Now it will only read B. Close. You can see that it read it super fast there, but I could also change this to 0.5 and click on that. Close. And it would read it very slowly. So all sorts of really cool things you can do with text to speech. 
Now, lastly, what I want to recommend here, and I'm going to link this in the description of this video, is this Amazon page. We've collected uh, either controllers that we personally have used or others have used and recommended to us. Uh, for example, I've used a PlayStation, a Switch controller. Uh, one of the guys on our team uses an Xbox One. I've used this controller, and they're all great, but you can link these up. You could be listening to your flashcards and then use a little one-handed controller while you're on the treadmill or something like that to answer the flashcards and basically do your flashcards just by audio alone and you could be exercising or doing other things at the same time. Super, super cool. Um, and then we have this video here on how to use a controller for Anki. Again, I'll link this in the description for you. And on Instagram right now, we have a little story highlight on how to, rather than use a controller, how to use your voice to answer the Anki cards. And I'm gonna be working on a video for that that will be released soon as well. So uh, play with the text-to-speech and best of luck. Thanks for learning with the Anking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at AnkingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, AnkingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.